But the game awards, they don't mean nothing because they're just driven by DI. You know, this is the real game awards. The real game awards. Become a member. If there's one thing that's become great, just so you know, stuttering Craig here is a guy who interviewed Tommy Tellerico, who stole 17 million. He, who after after it wasn't even like before the, the stealing, it was after the stealing, after the scamming. Stuttering Craig interviewed him and basically propped him up and was like, "Yeah, you should get this. It sounds great. It sounds like a great system." That was two years late already and was showing no signs of ever coming out. And spoiler, it never came out. Uh, that was starting Craig. And then when confronted on it, Craig lied. Craig lied that he did all that stuff. No, no, you guys are. I never did that. I never promoted Tommy Tellerico. What are you talking about? Craig, we got you on fucking tape. We got you on fucking stream. Okay. So, yeah, that was uh, What's the legality of him creating something called the Real Game Awards? Like, what's. Can Jeff Keighley get him for that? Um. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he has like the game awards trademarked. I don't think you maybe like the Oscars is trademarked, right? Because the Oscars. Yeah. Uh, and I think what, what's it? It's called something else. Like the Oscars are what we call it, but it's called something yeah, else. Called, the like, Academy Awards. The Academy Awards, like that's like trademarked by the Academy, right? There's no Academy. There's no like. Academy for video games, right? It's just like the Game Awards, hosted by Jeff Keighley. Right? So I don't think he has that, but maybe. That's a good question, though. Um, someone tag Jeff Keighley and ask him. No, don't do <laughs> no, that. Don't do that. <laughs> well, let's find out. Why do we need this? It's time to take games back painfully clear over the last couple weeks is that the people who work in this industry and write about this industry that you love hate you it's one big club oh they hate guys they hate us oh of course man, man we're, we're 10 seconds in and you're already making the pitch oh, really? guys, they hate you they don't give them their, your money give me your money they hate you i don't craig again this should be another fucking simple thing what do you do hey guys uh, the Game Awards are bullshit, and um, they don't actually represent what gamers want. So here's what I'm going to do. I am Stuttering Craig, who's an old-school YouTuber who's been on YouTube forever, have lots of YouTube friends. We're going to do a, a live stream where we get fucking people from the industry. We're going to you know, reach out to, you know, writers, to, to fucking people who worked on games and stuff, uh, you know. Uh, let them tell their stories, you know, 3D modelers, sculptors, right? We'll do that. And we'll have all me and all my buddies and all the, you know, the big gaming YouTubers. We'll all get together and, uh, you know, whoever wants to present awards or, or, you know, come and do a thing, we'll do that for free. We'll put it on YouTube and, and you guys can watch it. It doesn't cost money. People shouldn't pay money so they can vote on your stupid fucking award show. Okay. Potion did an award show like two years ago for free. It was it was jokes and we were all laughing. We all had a good time. Uh, it was for the people in the community. It's free. free. He didn't charge us. He was like, hey, guys, pay me like $10 uh, so I can let you nominate people for this silly award show thing. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, spoiler alert. No one's going to slap I won a real game awards on, on their fucking game. Guys, you got to buy this game because it won a real fucking game awards award. Right? It's not gonna happen, Craig. Now you're, you're you're delusional. But let, let, let's continue. And you are not in it. In fact, did you know that the Game Awards are voted on by those exact same people? I mean, look at this list. It's IGN and Polygon and Variety. For God's sakes, it's an elite. It's not an elite club. Uh, these are critics. I'm sorry, stuttering Craig. That you're not considered a critic. I'm sorry uh, that uh, people have a profession, right? The same way, like the the Academy Awards, right? You people get mad. The Academy, that's not what the people want. Uh, the Academy Awards are not about what makes the most money. Right? The Academy Awards are about what the members of the Academy think are the best movies, right? The best actors, the best yeah film, sound, and all that shit. In the same way, the Game Awards, 
very much the same way, right? Uh, one game can make a shit ton of money. The fucking uh, Fall Guys can make a shit ton of money, but there's no way Fall Guys should win game of the year. Fortnite makes money hand over fist, right? Fucking how many mobile how many mobile gotcha games are making tons of money, uh, right? True. But they shouldn't win awards for that. Uh, a game that maybe uh, people don't buy or, or they were hesitant to buy because it's a new franchise that might be really good that might deserve to win an award, right? I, I agree guns. that there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of shitty categories, right? Like there's a lot of retard. We go over the game awards every year, right? There's a lot of categories where I'm like, why is this in here, right? This shouldn't be in here. I get that. You can go, hey, you know what? Uh, no one cares about esports guy of the year or, or you know the YouTubers that they have for gaming YouTuber are not even the most popular ones. There, there's an argument to be had there, right? But to go, hey, these people who play games, work on games, critique games, none of them should have any say, right? Uh, how do you know, you know, that I'm not going to sign up for your real game awards, and but I'm also a guy who works at fucking Variety, right? Are, are you going to like now give me my money back? Well, no, no, we don't want you voting. You're you're the you're the opposite of what we want. They don't charge people to vote. You're charging people. Which one is an elite club? The one that charges to get in or the one that you just have to work there, right? You just have to work in the industry. I don't know, Craig. Sounds like you're a scammer. Sounds like you're a grift in here. And again, most of the time, games that win, game of the year and all that stuff, are games you expect, right? How many times have people really been like, man, there was a huge upset or this really shitty game that no one cared about, right? Like one, like all the major games are there. All the big AAA games that people are talking about playing, right? right? Uh, It's not even. Undeniably, they win, right? Uh, Yeah. It's it's not even like the the Oscars where the Oscars every once in a while you had that like, well, this like weird fucking movie won like movie of the year. Like, well, what the fuck's the movie's that, right? Like everything that wins. You're like, oh yeah, Spider Man's gonna win. It's fucking uh, the biggest game of uh, Ragnarok and this, that, and the other yeah, games that people favorite. play, buy, and like, right? Yeah. I don't think there's a single game awards where a game is won where people are like this game is utterly shit, right? It should have never won. Yeah. No. Sure, yep. they, they go. Yep. Uh, this game's good, but that game was a little better. There's there's that mm-hmm. argument, right? But there's never like this game was just absolute dog water, right? Shouldn't have won anything, and it won a bunch of awards. Yeah, like um, the one I could think of that I was like, that's weird, was when Sekiro won Game of the Year, but then Miyazaki presented Elden Ring on the Game Awards stage later, so it was like, hey, it's all about the game. It's <laughs> not you play it. Uh, how embarrassing for Craig. If he has them, I feel bad for his wife and kids. Yes, he has them, and they were in the video with him uh, oh. playing the Amico. Uh, at the, oh, uh, wow. At... So, well, Let's go on. Moving. Latest outdated system, and it's had way too much sway in the video game industry for way too long. I've been talking. Messed up teeth. No, it makes that make sense. I, I just, I don't want to. I don't want to keep stopping. Right? I look. Thirty seconds. What sway? What sway? A lie. Every right. every sentence is a lie. Holy shit! What sway does the game awards? The game awards are a joke. The Rito Pope. There's no fucking sway. True. Nobody right? takes them serious. Everyone's like, it's it's a big fucking joke, and it's gotten more Hollywood, and it's, you know, it, it's gotten more showy versus actual like being about the games, more awardy show uh, type atmosphere than actually what it was. Yeah, again, that's an argument to be made. But to be like, they have a sway. The the industry is not like moving uh, because like, oh shit, that game won, and like all of a sudden like every every game follows that pattern. No. Games take years and years for development, right? They're not like shifting on a dime because some game won an award at the Game Awards, right? Fuck. I've been about video games online for almost two decades now and been playing games like longer than that, but I have never seen the video game industry this toxic. It is time to get our voice back. Awesome. Now, look, I'm not telling you I got this whole idea mapped out because I don't. I don't even have a name for this. He doesn't have the idea. When did this video come out? This was old. This was a while ago. I know, but I'm saying, like, what he didn't even. It was oh, four months ago. Okay, so the video is four months. So four months ago, when he decided he was going to do this, he's going to launch this thing. Right? He didn't have an idea. Didn't have. A... 
guys, literally in like 30 seconds, it's like, here's what you do. You get all your YouTuber buddies together. Uh, you, you have a live stream where you announce games and awards uh, and nominees. And then like a month later, you fucking announce winners, right? How hard is that? It's not hard. They do that for movies anyway. That's what they've been doing. Again, with and them. I, I hate to break it to you, Craig, but you're not getting celebrities fucking... Um, you know, Nolan North is not coming down to your real game awards. The you know the the, the guy who did the voice of Kratos ain't showing up. Uh, you're not getting Jack Black and them uh, to to play fucking uh, Peaches, right? And again, you complain about all that shit anyway, right? So you don't want any of that in your game awards. It, it should just be you and your fucking buddies going out there and going. Here's here's a list of, of the what we think uh, uh, are the ten best games. How are you even going to nominate? This is so ridiculous, right? Because first off. Uh, I'm sure you, you, you uh, Stutter and Craig and all these guys complain about the games that get nominated, right? There's only like six games that get nominated and then they got to get voted on, right? So what are you just going to be like, here's a, here's a list of every fucking game that came out that's a sports game. Now start voting, right? That That's the only fair way to do it. Yeah. So you have to nominate games. So, so you and a bunch of people, a bunch of elitists have to get together and nominate games, and then present that to the audience and go, here's the six or seven games that we decided were the best sports games, the best action games, right? What, what if we disagree with your picks? Right? Do I have to start the real, real game awards? Guys, next year, we're going to do the real, real game awards because Stutter and Craig is sold out. We got we to we <laughs> take back our voice from Craig. For real, for real. Took your voice. Yeah, for real. For $5. For real for $5 Super Chat, you can donate your game of the year. Not nominate your game of the year. Yeah. Uh, the studios have to pay Craig to be nominated. Uh, Stuttering Craig will get Tommy Tellerico, who claims to be the creator of Oof, when it really was Joey Curis. Yeah. Oh boy! It's, this whole thing is just ridiculous. It's it's just Craig, you're gone. You're over. You you, you talk about two decades, old man. You, you, your star has, has fucking burned out already. Okay, old man. Uh, most people don't remember you. Me. Yeah, even then, I would say that he was never very relevant in the YouTube space, YouTube gaming space. That's why he's desperate, sucking up to the zeros, right? Like, bringing well, he, he made a hard shift to the right, and he like, yeah, his he got some videos that are like fucking wackadoodle that they're just way out there with like, um, just hating people, just, just hateful videos. He has hateful videos, mm -hmm. right? Damn. Um, because we talked about him like a long time ago when with the Tommy shit. But like the rest of like his um his uh the screw attack, right? Like the rest of screw attack got beaten by death battle so much that they had to rebrand to death battle in order to actually get like um the algorithm because like no one was watching the other screw attack stuff, like his stuff, like nervous nick's top tens or any of that stuff. <laughs> well, I think they they lost the screw attack name. Him and him and the guy that started it like had a falling out and it was a whole thing. Some people think they like stuttering Craig stole it from the guy. Solo from out from under him. Uh, so it's like a whole, whole fucking rabbit hole, man. Either way, uh, you're out of touch, Southern Craig, right? Um, because again, you, I don't like Fortnite, right? Let me just put it, I don't like Fortnite, but I recognize the fact that lots of kids play fucking Fortnite, right? The kids, the youth of America play Fortnite. Uh, and I recognize that. And so you would have to recognize that you're, you're old. You're old. What you think is cool and hip, you know, what you think is with it is no longer with it, right? So you, how are you and a bunch of other old guys going to be like, this is what the industry really wants. We're the voice of the industry. You know, me and, and my other 45 to 50-year-old friends, right? <laughs> Nerdrotic. Yeah, because that's what it is. Imagine. But I, I digress. This yet. Year old but it's become children. painfully obvious that this is very much needed. Year after year, over and over again, after the Game Awards, people say there has to be a real award show for gamers. Well, let's do it. This is the first step to creating a club. I thought the awards were for the games, not for the gamers. You're going to give me awards now, Frank? Or a group. Also, real gamers don't give a shit if games win awards. Okay, true. I've never, I've never bought a game because it won an award. 
Okay. Never played a game because it won an award. Rented a game. Gotta rent this game. It won an award. I man. see. It won best sound. Yeah, uh, it looks cool. I buy it. Simple. Game <laughs> awards. You watch game awards for the trailers. You know, and then if you really love something, it's nice to see it get like uh, stuff like Liza P never won anything, but it got a uh, like yeah, uh, exactly Paul nominated Swap. a few times. Um, it it won the uh, the Mac Game of the Year um, like thing, but on their own thing. But otherwise, yeah, like, but I was like, I want to see Liza P get something, right? And that's that's why. Paul it. says, I'd rather just get good games. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of underrated games out there too. Also, and again, the assumption is that those elitists that you're complaining about, they at least played all the games they're, they're going to nominate and talk about, right? Do I believe that you and your buddies, you you and your, your the council of, of fucking Greg's actually played the games that you're going to like nominate and talk about? Or are you just going to nominate the ones you did play so the ones you didn't play I guess they don't get nominated because you just never tried them. You, you know that Zao game that everyone's complaining about that was like free on uh, PS Plus. It looked pretty decent, right? It's like an African mythology game. The guy did it for like his, his grandfather or some shit, uh, right? Yeah. But everyone jumped on it because DI, DI, blah blah blah, whatever, right? So the game fucking fine. But it might be a, might be the fucking best game of the year, right? But you guys will never play it, so you'll never know. You can't even say it's bad uh, from your playing because you're not gonna again, you're not gonna play it, right? Uh, so how can I trust anything you guys say if I know just off the bat, off jump, that you guys aren't going to play a bunch of games and the ones you do play, you're going to have some weird bias. You're going to be like fucking Ryan Cannell and you're going to count how many good black people are in it and how many good white people and then compare the numbers to some like weird ratio that it has to have, right? Where you decide the winners and losers of the video game industry. A club where you get to decide the categories the nominees for the categories, and of course, vote on them. And it'll all be done through an app where you can do it easily and securely. So is this club free? Nope. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there it is. It is probably, nope. Nope. No, no, you got to pay to be in this club. Uh, like what? So you know, the Game Awards are free. You know, the Game Awards are free. I just go to the website and click the buttons yeah. and... Absolutely not. Why? As we've seen over the last few years, our why you should just said because I play this much about me because I like money, right? <laughs> Hello, I like money. Why? Yeah. What? What Bobby inspired been... you to make this money? <laughs> the drift hijacked by activists looking to push their own agenda and literally push you out. For... Okay, so you're charging <laughs> me <laughs> money. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I understand this. Let me see if I understand the logic. There's an elite club of people who vote on games who don't allow you in. Okay, so we start an award show for real gamers. Got it. Okay, and we're gonna charge you money so you can vote. Why? Because there's other people don't like you. Am I? Am I? Am I understanding this? That's the way he put it, yeah. For that reason alone, there has to be a barrier of entry to be a part of this club. Hell yes, we're going to gatekeep. We should have been gatekeeping. How's that gatekeeping? <sighs> Charging know, me money is not gatekeeping. I don't know if you know this, but activists can pay money too. What if a bunch true. of activists gave you money to hijack your awards? Or are you going to be like, oh, th I'll throw his vote out because he's got yellow. I see he's got fucking blue hair in his uh, avatar. Throw his out. He's got... Uh, Pronouns in this bio, fucking his. Here's your money back. Are you gonna give people their money back? How are you gonna gatekeep? Charging well, people money is not gatekeeping, right? Charging people money is not gatekeeping their vote. It's just saying, uh, I'll take everyone's vote. Just give me money. You're basically saying, unlike the game awards, I'm gonna be open about who can buy. You know, what if Activision just fucking floods you with a whole bunch of money, right? They pay a bunch of illegals, right? They're gonna they're gonna bus load illegals over oh, the border shit. so they can vote in, in the game awards, right? <laughs> the fucking four a.m. ballot drop. What are you gonna do then, Greg? This whole fucking thing is it should just be free, right? Maybe like you have to log in and verify, you know, your your fucking PSN account. Or like you have to verify with one of these PSN Steam ID, Xbox account, whatever, right? To prove that you at least 
own one of these fucking systems. And then you could vote in only categories in which, you, you know, if you don't have Steam, you can't vote on the fucking Steam shit. If you don't have Xbox, you can't vote on the Xbox shit, right? That would be an easy, simple, free fucking way to do this whole gatekeeping shit. Uh, no, but just give you money and hopefully it all works out in the end somehow. Fuck. Sort itself out. Keeping much longer. But here's my vision. With your support, we'll, number one, be able to make the app. And number two, be able to create uh, a physical award show that you'll be able to attend. Guess what? A physical award show that I can attend? So you're going to give me, you're going to, is it going to be free or are you going to charge me to also go to the award show? What if I don't support you and you, you get support and you make the award show? Can I then attend? Or now am I like locked out of not attending because I didn't support you to begin with? Right? Is it, is it worth going? Is it going to be you in, in, in the boozy bird with your, with your buddies in Eric July? The little fucking trophies that you get from the little fucking trophy making store that, you know, like the ones at the, at the baseball for Little League. What? With the app serving. Also, what if, what, what if you um, nominate, let's say you nominate um, Spider Man 2, right? And for whatever reason, Spider Man 2 wins, right? You know, Spider-Man 2 is one, but unfortunately they told me to go fuck myself and they don't want to accept this award. Then what do you do, Craig? Huh? Sounds like the rip of us, true. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, like you you're you're, you're gonna uh, you're gonna nominate people for awards. What if those people tell you to go fuck yourself that they don't want your award? Yeah. You're gonna look really silly, right? You're gonna look really fucking silly when you're at your physical oh, award thing. Oh, another Zack Snyder <laughs> incident. Yeah. yeah, here's the winner of fucking uh, indie game of the year. Uh, they Goodbye, told me to go Volcano fuck myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Volcano High. Oh shit! They also told me to go fuck myself, and they're not gonna accept my award. And I'm a bigot. Next award. Oh, they also told me to fuck. Like, no one in the industry is going to show up there and accept awards for the real games from Stuttering Craig, right? Uh, <laughs> At least make it you know an indie game award. You know. Do that. Let's, let's, let's do real hardcore. Let's do it on the same night as the Game Awards. And you know what? You're going to even rent out a fucking hotel across the street. And you're going to fucking, uh, you know, counter program. Guys, come over to us. It's fucking ridiculous. God. Like TNA running on Monday nights. Yeah. What happened to Crazy Cat? Haven't seen her. Um, she was here the other day. Hey, don't talk crush about Crazy Cat. Okay? He's my homie. Because crazy, crazy cat hates me, so fuck her. Well, he, crazy cat hates you because, well, he's fat. <laughs> Them. Uh, why don't you play the video games? Why don't you like video games so much, man? Him naming it real game awards will be a red flag to any sane person in the industry. Yeah, two hundred dollars to see if Craig's BGS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cabrudos, I need you to check the real game awards. Oh shit, that's the grift. Yeah, that's a, they'll involve Cabrudos for sure. Uh, he says they wouldn't win anyways. The only winners would be FromSoft games, and that's it. Yeah, but it, <laughs> again, do you think FromSoft? Also, Summer Swan's correct. Physical? Why not say in person? I don't know. Some it. I thought he was gonna say physical awards. Then he's like physical awards show, and I was like, that's a weird thing to say. I'm right there with you, Summer Swan. Yeah as your ticket my vision for this also have oh, attend up. guess what with the app serving as your ticket my vision so now you need the app so what if i got the app but i don't pay you money so i have to pay you money for the app the 200 dollars app <laughs> okay but what okay so again what if you you, you book a venue you got to book a venue right you go okay there's only uh, it only seats 500 and they're like oh there's a thousand people with the app also, where where are you holding this award? Oh shit, I got a I got a ticket to an award that's uh in Florida. I can't make it. Oh shit, half half of the you, you have uh, a thousand people that have the app, but guess what? Uh only 10 people live in uh, Houston. So you're going to get like 15 people showing up, right? Like this is insane, right? Do it virtually. Build it up. You you start with a virtual fucking uh, award thing. Like I said, you get your buddies together. You do a live stream. Uh, maybe even right. have a little like uh, where you read the chat or whatever. Like oh, yeah, comments from the chat, right? 
and then you build it up to mean something. Otherwise, it would have to just be to save money, just announcing the awards on the website, like announcing the winners. Like, there you go, boom, 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 you're done. Like, you can do the stream, like, because he has the setup already, but like, um, for the longest time, those game award things are literally just we announce it on the website, and that's it. That's the end of it. Got a super. Well, that's how they 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 built it up slowly. Like the game awards now, you know, they would never have been able to do that when it started, right? You build it up slowly. You you want to just jump in and make this award? You're gonna have like a physical location and do all this shit. Again, who's gonna show up? Are you are you gonna get any celebrities? Are you gonna pay for like security now and and, and venue insurance and all this other shit that goes along with it? Uh, are you gonna pay people? Uh, because you know what, a lot of people aren't gonna show up unless you pay them, right? Uh, you you think those people aren't getting flown in to fucking uh you know be at the game awards? Uh, you think Al Pacino just showed up because he he fucking really loves video games, right? Uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, even fucking uh, what's his name, the Metal Gear guy. Um, Kojima. You think Kojima's Kojima, yeah. showing up? Fucking you know, hey, hey, Kojima, would you like to come to the real game awards? Oh no, you don't know who I am. Uh, you told me to go fuck myself. That's that. That's gonna be like the, the game awards. It's gonna be three hours of okay. So Kojima told me to go fuck myself, and uh, the guy from this studio told me to go fuck myself. You know what? Everyone just told me to go fuck myself. Uh, th- there's your award ceremony. For this also has a board of directors to help oversee things, but there are strict rules to be involved with the board. There are strict rules to be involved with oh, the board. Boy. One, yeah, you, you gotta check. be my friend. Two, you there gotta you go. Be yes. No, no pronouns in your bio. Three, you gotta be a right wing grifter. Four, uh, they gotta give me money. So like One, they're not allowed to vote. Two, the board of directors ain't allowed to vote. Oh man, they're, just, they're really sacrificing a lot there, Craig. Two, they're not allowed to be on any press list or receive any free video games and or per. No press list. Guys, oh. do you do you understand what this means? I don't know if you understand. Um, I'm on press list. Technically, I would not be allowed to be on the board, board of directors uh, for this. Uh, well, you also get being on a, games, but no, 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 not for AAA developers. But being on a press list, a press list, all that means is they send you press releases. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's literally it. You, there's no fucking perk for being on a press list, okay? It, it is, hey, we're going to send you, we're going to just, you know, this press release that also is going to go on our website and is going to go on and all the other, we're going to send it to you so you can run it on your website, so you can run it on your YouTube channel or whatever, right? That means we're nobody gonna, We're going to give it to you directly. Crazy. Yeah. Perks from AAA developers. Now, wh- what about perks from AA developers? That's okay. Yeah. Indie developers can give you perks, I guess, right? It should or just be there no are, perks. There is such a thing, remember, there is such a thing as indie developers who become AAA, right? Yeah. But but I'm saying, like, specifying, like, no perks from uh, AAA developers. What What is a perk? Uh, or a view copy is not a perk. Perks from any AAA publishers. And three, and most important. He said publishers, but he wrote developers down there. Like that. <laughs> Importantly, they are not allowed to be employed by traditional gaming media. Oh. No traditional gaming media. So you you basically are saying uh, someone who's in traditional gaming media that might feel the same way as you, right? Going, look, guys, I agree with you. I agree that the, the game awards are full of shit, right? I I'm, I work at EGM. Uh, I'm a guy who reviews games. The guy who, who's in there writing the articles, right? Niche gamer, niche gamer is technically traditional gaming media, right? They're sure. a news site. So I guess yeah. all those guys on niche gamer who agree with you, they're not allowed. They're not allowed to be on your board of director, right? Hey man, I get it. Video games are a mess right now. The industry you love doesn't. They're not really a, guys. I play video games all the time. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Like. There are good video games out there. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. He just don't like fun. Wants you, and the traditional media hates you. And that's why it's time to oh take games God. back. Again, the hates you so too. go to takegamesback.com and become a member and help grow this community and help regain our voice. It's Regain our voice. He's the voice of the voiceless. He's fucking... Uh... 
CM Punk. All right, so memberships. <laughs> what's, how much? Thirty dollars, guys. You need to pay him thirty dollars every year to suggest, nominate, and vote on the future award show. Uh, for fifteen dollars, you can suggest category. Just suggest. He's not necessarily going to actually uh, listen to your suggestions, but you just suggest. There's two more down there too. Oh, there's two. Yeah, hundred and fifty. Oh, oh, oh I, shit! I, I thought you said it was like the app was all I needed, but I guess I need hundred fifty dollars to attend the award. This, this doesn't exist. Tells them. <laughs> well, this is a joke because it says elite. It's thirteen thirty-seven. It's elite speak. You're not a gamer. You don't know that, TJ. Damn Carpathian trust fund baby. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're listed as a sponsor for paying thirteen thirty-seven guys. Who in the fuck is going to pay that? But also it says if you are tired of the nonsense and are ready to take action, now is the time. Uh, why would you put it? No, this is wrong. This this is incorrect. You don't need a, a colon. You would need a semicolon. A semicolon is what you need, is what you're looking for. Or just a, to a comma, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it says, as we get closer to the award show, to the award show, the price to nominate and vote will go up. He's going to charge you more fucking... Guys, Holy it's $30 shit. now. But if you don't act now, if you don't act now, you're not going to get. He's slashing prices. He's mad. Craig's fucking game he's of raising, He's raising prices. No, he's slashing them right now. Yeah. Eventually, they're going to go up. If you don't act now, exactly, it's crazy, Curley. This is crazy Curley. fucking Craig's. You're, you're going to have to frame extra. This Goodness. is designed. This is a designed to avoid bad faith voting, guys. If you're poor, if you're a gamer who's poor, who's on a budget, who can't afford extras. Your vote don't fucking matter. Your voice doesn't matter. He's supposed to be vo the voice of the voiceless, the voice of the gamers, except for the gamers who, have, who are poor, right? Poor gamers. Uh -uh. Hey, all you guys in Brazil who can't afford shit, right, who are still playing fucking uh, Sega, because that's the only shit you can afford out there. Sega Mega Drive. You, 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 don't, you don't get the vote, right? Um, they only play arcades. India. And no, all those Indian shit. gamers, you don't get the vote because you can't afford it. Americans, you know, Americans who, who are suffering under all of this inflation, uh, God forbid that I, I, you know what, I really believe that we need a, a real game award. But guess what? I just can't afford $30 to give you because uh, that's food for my kids, right? Sorry, Craig. So if you're poor, if you're a poor gamer, right, I, I guess your vote doesn't fucking matter. Craig don't want no poor money. Craig don't want no poor gamers. He's only he only voices for, for the rich people, right? He says this is designed to avoid bad faith voting and funny business. Craig, do you understand? This is the opposite, you fucking moron. People with money are the ones who are going to do bad faith and funny business. Not a poor guy, not a guy who can't afford True. thirty dollars, right? Oh, oh shit! Can let's scrape together. Let's scrape together thirty dollars so we can vote funny business. No, some guy, some rich asshole who just really loves fucking Spider Man too, right? Fuck it, I got I got extra money. I just I just get a fucking a bunch of fake accounts and, and vote, right? That's the guy that's gonna do funny business. People with, with early lots of, and vote often. You know, people would yeah. fuck you money are, are the ones who are gonna do funny business, right? You're not locking them out. You're locking poor people out. You're locking the actual gamers, right? Look at this. With that said, I don't know never, this is. Yeah. <laughs> this is just like the Game Awards all over again. But with that said, whatever price you join at will be the price you stay at. I.e., if you join at thirty, the price doesn't go up for you. But what if I if I join at fifteen, right? And then I want to upgrade. Oh no, it's true. You, you could lock in the fifteen, but when the thirty becomes fifty, you can't you can't upgrade to the thirty. You you can only upgrade to the fifty, right? So fuck me, I guess, right? Fuck me for wanting to support you and then thinking later on I could just upgrade to a better, uh, bigger Everyone team. in the chat is saying this looks like the Ripperverse <laughs> website. Same color scheme and everything. Uh, 56 says the broke ones who are the main audiences are now locked out of the real game. They're the ones who are locked your, out. 
What if you're a kid? Hey, mom, can I have $30 so I can vote on the Real Game Awards? The what? The Real Game Awards. Stuttering Craig said that the mainstream media hates me and the game companies want me dead. <laughs> so I need $30 to fight back, mom. Shut up, Billy. Go back to playing Fortnite. No, no, that's Sturgis, not, not Billy. That's Nick. <laughs> I go in at $0 and somehow I come out ahead. Yeah. Uh, super chat way up there. From uh, Blue Gundam it says, yes. "Ice Rollers pretty much had a struggle session for short fat otaku's tweets about the guy who passed away beliefs at Trump's rally." Was this recently? I'm assuming this had to be recently, right? Yeah, it sounds like it's recent. That's ridiculous! Ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if you're talking about the um, the guy who committed the the. Uh, the rallies nonsense or just the guy that was in the crowd as being the, the guy who passed away. Um, but either way, I'd be like, fuck you. Uh, but uh, hey, lie with dogs, get fleas, right? Cool. Uh, but thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, I oh, said this was earlier nice. today. He said what? Uh, I want Bob Dylan up on stage. Who the fuck are you? Uh, it was earlier today. I uh, said, so "Blue Gun, damn." Uh, Stuttering Craig's uh, kids hate him for, to play the Amico. This is his revenge for his son. This thing is old as gaming. <laughs> Brokies need not apply, bud. Exactly. We don't want, no we don't want Brokies, bud. Oh, okay. So, so the guy who got shot protecting his family is who Dev was tweeting about. Huh. What did he say? Uh, short bad attack. God damn it! Now I gotta look up this guy. <laughs> we'll get to we'll get to that Eric and all that stuff eventually. <laughs> yeah, we'll eventually get there. Don't worry. Or Tony will change the title after the show ends. <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, everybody's decided to grift at the same time, right? Now we have to cover everyone. No. Crazy! It's not Eric July alone anymore. War has changed. <laughs> uh. And short fat otaku is uh, what did he tweet that was so so bad? Uh, um, Dev and Naomi, who the fuck is Dev? Is Dev the short fat otaku? Yeah, yeah, he said, because he's got he's got yeah. Dev and then he's got a uh, short fat otaku account. He's got like two accounts. Says okay. After having a good faith hash out with Craig and Co., I've unbanned most people from the channel comments. This doesn't mean I've changed the rules. You'll be rebanned for violating any rules, even new ones that you might not like. But everybody's getting another chance. Yeah. And what was this about? Um, I guess he said some things about the guy at the Trump rally. Oh, he went destiny. Yeah, he, he went full destiny. Go up, down. Oh, guy, guy who likes Heelys was there. He says that I guess he's a he's a he's a radical lefty, uh, and that he is. Um, I guess he, he was like, well, you know, it's a Trump supporter. Fuck him. Oh, okay. He didn't go full destiny. He just didn't believe canceling destiny in, you know, he didn't want people to cancel destiny. But oh, his chat right? did. Yeah. So people were, so people in his chat were disagreeing with him. Oh, kind of like how it would happen with us when, we're, when I was like, exactly, well, this yeah. is just well, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, except it was crazier with him. Yeah. He's based. Well, he's not the radical lefty. It's you're not in on it, then it's a grift. Just think up your own grift. I out bitter septic tanks. Yeah. Uh, uh, a couple of chats in there from English. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Blue Gundam says, Dev is not a radical lefty. Well, I was just reading what was being said on Twitter about him. 
I don't I don't know him from from anybody. Or people were accusing him for being a lefty, I guess. All right. Back to back to studying Craig's here. Who's on the board? Let's let's see who's on the board. All right. Oh man, look at this. They're not allowed to vote. They're not allowed to be on press list. Yeah, I don't think uh you have to worry about that, uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Uh, they cannot work for traditional access gaming media. Uh, so, Stuttering Craig, uh, D Day Cobra, why is he on the board? Oh, because he's a lifelong Nintendo fan. He he thinks Titanfall 2 deserved better gameplay over graphics. Founder of owner of Geeks and Gamers. Oh, man. Uh, Cabrudos, there he is. He's in on the grift. I knew it. There, I called it. Cabruto, straight away. I don't know who Mark the Cyborg is, but apparently he's an independent uh, video game analyst who makes oh, videos you. on YouTube. Uh, he's been playing video games for over 35 years, so he's old. Got it. Uh, coming soon. Oh. Man, I'm coming soon. Tommy Tallarico. Yeah. I'm be calling smashed. it now. <laughs> Smash JT. He's been, on site. Yeah, he's been actually, on FNT yeah. and them lately. He's been yeah. hanging out with them. So that's their board. Fucking great board, guys. Fucking, I, I have full faith in this. Uh, Surprise, Eric is not. <laughs> not yet. No, no, oh, not yet. Yeah, that's his next grift. Because uh, remember, the real the, the whole Game Awards update. The whole comic thing is a side quest for him to make a video game. Remember. The 2024 category suggestion thread. Want to read more? Sub I can't even read the fucking thread. I have to subscribe in order to read to the thread. That's only—it's only a one-minute read, too. Apparently, there's like three fucking categories probably suggested. 